What's going on guys, it's Jeff from MadHattersReef.com and today we're taking a look at the Marine Biosystems F5 Max Biopellet Reactor provided to us by TV Aquatics. So Marine Biosystems F5 Max has a capacity of 1500 milliliters of biopellets. It's rated for 50 gallons to 350 gallon systems and stands 17 inches tall and 5 inches wide. The pump that it comes with is the Rio 1000 and it can push 275 gallons per hour. When you open up the package to the Rio, it comes with everything that you would expect one to come with, but all you're going to need for this application is the pump itself and the ball valve that comes with it. It uses 12 watts of power and runs relatively quiet for a Rio. When you get your package, you're going to find the Rio in its own individual package. And really what you're going to be looking for in there, like I said before, is the ball valve and the pump itself. You always want to make sure you take a look at the manufacturer instructions prior to operating it as well. I definitely recommend that you guys hang on to all the contents of this package just for future instances because you never know what's going to happen. After you found the ball valve, all you have to do is put it on the outfeed of the pump. After you have the pump situated, you're going to unwrap your reactor and get that set up. One of the things that I was pleasantly surprised about with this reactor is it comes relatively assembled. It's only going to be in four different parts. Your pump, the reactor chamber, the lid, and the return pipe. After you have the reactor put together, it's time to place the pump in the bottom of the reactor. And it's very simple. All you do is you take the ball valve and stick it into the hole on the bottom of the chamber. And that's all you have to do to put the F5 Max together comes relatively assembled like I said and uh, it, what you have to do to put it together is really simple. So thumbs up to Marine Biosystems for taking the pain out of setting up a biopellet reactor. Here's a quick look at the lid of the F5 Max. Really simple. All it does is it takes a quarter turn and it locks in solid. So for demonstration purposes I set up a 10 gallon aquarium that I have uh, kicking around and I filled it halfway with water just so I can kind of get you guys a visual to how well this reactor works and I use some bio pellets and one thing that you want to do before you just throw bio pellets in there you actually want to soak them for like 24 hours uh, what that's going to do is pretty much jump start those bio pellets get them going some folks will use a bacteria additive to soak them in and you want to make sure whatever you're soaking them in that you're removing that from the bio pellets before you're adding them to the reactor and right here I'm putting the lid back on and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the aquarium and before you plug it in you want to make sure that you turn the ball valve so it's completely has it shut off so no water is going into it and that's just gonna help you and eliminate the possibility of just shooting the bio pellets everywhere uh, especially if that lid isn't on too quick so then once you have it on, you're going to slightly turn it so you can adjust the flow. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a ripping boil on the bottom and then a slow roll on the top. That's probably a little too fast on the top, but this is only 400 milliliters of bio pellets. And that's going to treat about 100 gallons of water. I recommend most people start off with like a half dose of bio pellets. And right here, I'm just going to shut up for a minute so you actually can listen to how quiet this reactor is and something that I want you to notice is there's absolutely no micro bubbles going into the tank overall marine biosystems has really set themselves apart from other bio pellet reactors available on the market today what I love about this is the pump is on the bottom and the water goes from the bottom to the top most bio pellet reactors that you see on the market today have the water going down the top, down a pipe down the middle, and then out from the bottom upwards, pushing the bio pellets. You really have a lot of opportunity for fails with that kind of design, and I'm really glad to see a company moving forward and addressing this problem that many bio pellet reactors have had.
So by putting the pump on the bottom and pushing up through the bio pellet lifting plate, it really just gives you an absolute boil on the bottom and a slow roll on the top, which is exactly what you're looking for in a reactor. It has an incredibly small footprint, which is definitely a need for anybody who has a bunch of equipment under the tank. And overall, the design of it is sleek and it's impressive. If there was one thing that I was going to change about this bio pellet reactor, is the legs and the legs are they need to be reinforced one way or another there isn't a whole lot of meat that they're hanging on uh, I can imagine it's probably pretty easy for them to break off and I hope in future generations of this bio pellet reactor uh, that that's addressed but all things considered I think this is absolutely an amazing bio pellet reactor for the money I want to thank TB Aquatics for giving me the opportunity to take a look at the marine biosystems F5 Max. If you guys would like to pick up this bio pellet reactor from TB Aquatics, there's a link down in the description below. I know that this has found itself a home in my 265 gallon build and I'm looking forward to the results that it's going to give me. And in the future I would like to do a long-term review slash test of what this actually does offer my system. If you're new to Mad Hatter's Reef, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.